Now, in late 2022, Bloomberg came out with reports saying that 40% of homeowners in the country now own their home outright, which is a record high in mortgage-free ownership. But it also means that 60% of homeowners in the U.S. do have a mortgage. And if you fall into the 60% category, you have definitely asked and researched this question before, which is what is the fastest way to pay off your mortgage? In today's video, I want to talk all about mortgages and the calculations that support how you can pay your mortgage up to four years early. And if you stay until the end of this video, I will reveal a tip which can allow you to pay your mortgage up to six years early. Now in the process of buying my current home and my previous home, I noticed that nobody from the beginning to end of the process, whether it was developer, buying realtor, selling realtor, mortgage broker, notary, actually explained to me how I can pay off my mortgage faster. In fact, I wasn't even given an option or asked how I wanted to make payments. It tends to be automatically assumed that people who have mortgages are making monthly mortgage payments. In fact, I actually have to go to the bank and request a payment schedule change on my mortgage. And I think if that's the case for myself, then other people might be experiencing the same thing. So at the core, a mortgage is a loan to buy a house. It's an agreement that you as a purchaser enter into with a lender and they agree to provide you with funds to pay for the house. You agree to give payments on a set schedule, which includes an interest portion and a portion used for the principal balance. A loan term is the length of your current mortgage contract with your current lender. They generally last about five years and at the end of a given term, you as a borrower must renew your mortgage with your lender or you switch to a new one unless you're able to pay off the remaining principal balance at the time. Most borrowers need to take multiple terms in order to fully pay off their mortgage. The amortization period is the life of a loan, which is typically 25 or 30 year. Those are the two most popular options. And in the US, mortgages are compounded monthly. And what this means is that interest is calculated and added to your principal balance each month. In Canada, mortgages are compounded semi-annually by law, unless you're on a variable, which means that there are more payments per each compounding period, which is a good thing for us Canadians. But whether you are compounded semi-annually or monthly, it really doesn't make a huge difference in terms of how long it takes to pay off your mortgage or how much interest you're paying. It's fairly negligible, actually. Now, because of the way mortgages are amortized, you might know this if you're a homeowner, is that in the earlier life of your mortgage, the greater the portion of your payment goes towards interest. And the proportion of interest to principal will change over the life of your mortgage. So the longer you're in a mortgage term, the more of your payment will go to the principal balance. If you're two years into a mortgage, majority of what you pay will be interest. And as you pay more and more principal off over the years, more and more of your payment will go to the principal balance. When it comes to mortgage payment options, one of the most frequently asked questions there is, is if you make payments more frequently, does this reduce your interest owing? If you've ever played around with a mortgage calculator, you will see that banks often give the option to make semi-monthly, bi-weekly, or weekly payments. So you're making more payments compared to the traditional monthly mortgage. You might have even seen some advice online that by making payments more frequently, you may be able to pay off your loan faster. And the question is, is this actually true? So let's take a look at how bi-weekly and weekly payments are actually calculated. So here's an example on a $500,000 mortgage with a 4.5% interest rate and monthly compounding, the monthly payment is $2,779. That's for a monthly payment. Now for a bi-weekly payment plan, how that is calculated is that the bank will take that 2779, they will multiply that by 12 for the annual payment and then divide it by 26. Meaning that for bi-weekly payments, you would pay 1282 every two weeks. And similarly for a weekly payment plan, you would take the monthly amount, multiply that by 12, divide by 52 weeks in a year and get 641. In all three scenarios, whether you are paying monthly, bi-weekly or weekly, the total amount that you pay in the year cash flow wise is basically the same, which is $33,300 and change. And very specifically, we're talking 33349 with a monthly 
33316 with a bi-weekly and 33301 for a weekly. So back to the original question, if you are making mortgage payments more frequently, does this help you pay off your mortgage faster? And the answer is generally not. Now, if you're Canadian and you're watching, this interest is compounded semi-annually by law, unless you're on a variable, which makes this difference even smaller, meaning that in conclusion, your payment frequency has very negligible change to your outstanding balance on your mortgage and does not help you pay your mortgage off faster. If you're looking at a 30 year period, it might help by one or two months, but not in years, definitely. And in the grand scheme of things, paying off in a 30 year mortgage, if you pay it off one month faster, is that really considered paying off your mortgage faster? It's like not really, right? But the main benefit to a bi-weekly payment plan is that it aligns with your payroll schedule and it allows for better budgeting. And it's essentially a change in the timing of your cash flows that the bi-weekly payment plan really shines. The intention behind bi-weekly payments is to make that extra payment a year. But the way that a bi-weekly payment is actually calculated, what you actually really want technically is an accelerated bi-weekly option because with an accelerated bi-weekly payment plan, it's not just a timing in cash flow, you're actually making an extra payment every year. So in this exact example, if you were on an accelerated bi-weekly payment, you are making $13.90 every two weeks, which ends up being $36.129 in a year. Compare that to when you're making just regular bi-weekly payments as 33316, which means that you have paid an extra $2,800 and change, all of which has gone to principal. So you can see right here that $2,813 a year from that accelerated bi-weekly payment option, that's the secret sauce of how you can pay your mortgage off faster. And so when you look at a 25 year time horizon with these same bi-weekly accelerated payments being made, you will be able to pay this mortgage from 25 years originally down to 21.5 years, which is about three and a half years faster with bi-weekly accelerated payments. Now, if your primary financial goal in life is to be mortgage free, which for myself is not because I'm still young and I still want that pressure. I know that it's a goal for many people in life, especially as they get closer and closer to retirement to be mortgage free, then you can consider lump sum payments. So earlier when we talked about accelerated bi-weekly payments, that schedule allows you to pay off your mortgage about three and a half years earlier. And if you want to accelerate this by another three years so that you can pay off your mortgage faster by seven years, then you can consider adding additional payments into your mortgage, right? You can add them on as payments to your payment schedule. You can do this once a quarter. You can do this once a year. You just have to confirm with your bank that whatever you contribute is going to be 100% applied to principal with no penalty or no additional interest. So in this exact example, if you were to continue with these accelerated bi-weekly mortgage payments with an additional $5,000 a year, you will be able to pay off this mortgage in 19 and a half years compared to the original 25, which is six, almost seven years faster than the original plan. And if you find this video helpful, you'll definitely love my other video on how to manage your money on payday, where I give top tips on cash flow allocation on payday, as well as the different stages of financial well-being and how to change your payday allocation depending on where you're at financially. So make sure you check out that video up top. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought about this video, where you're at in your mortgage-free journey, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until next time.